Hey everybody, Hump Day Update, Tony George, DocSports.com. Going to give you a free A-10 uh, college basketball pick here in uh, just a moment. And uh, we'll make it short and sweet today. Of course, um, DocSports.com, click the link in the description below. Get a free 60 bucks if you've never been a member. Get over there and check out the website. There's a ton of free information over there. Going to help you make better decisions. And of course, uh, we're looking forward to getting you on the right side of every game we got out today. Doubleheader in college basketball. Took a loss last night on Tennessee, and I did tweet out, and I will say it again, that Rick Barnes is one of the worst coaches in college basketball. Tennessee, 49 points against a team missing three starters. Did not have his team ready to play. That's why they ran him out of Texas on a rail car. And I'm kicking myself in the butt this uh, last night, all night, and then this morning again. Because if th that game was on national TV, and any time he gets to the national spotlight, he's like a deer in the headlights. Can't coach a team in a big game to save his life. Bear that in mind for future reference. Yes, I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve. This guy is just pathetic. Period. So, that being said, now that I got that off my chest here, doubleheader in college basketball, four-unit play in the NBA and NHL, four-unit totals play today. Good totals play in the NHL off a of winner last night. We had the Flyers on the bounce back. Um, that being said, get over to Docs, take advantage of it. NFL, AFC, NFC championships this weekend. Arun Shiva, that's Indian Cowboy, and myself break it down on our weekly NFL picks and preview show. And that will be up around 4, 4.30 Central today. We'll take that a little later this afternoon. So get that up for you and we'll take a look at those games and, and give you our takes. I'm only going to have one bet all weekend. It's going to be a big one in the NFL. A big one. Yeah. So I'm real fond of one game. Real fond of one game. So that being said, let's get to your free play. That's why you're all here. Free play last night. Uh, there were some huge upsets last night. And some real head scratchers in college basketball. And our free play last night was one of them on Mississippi State who never, ever even thought about getting off the bus. Bad call. Apologize for that. I didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Wow. And I passed on Alabama for a free play. Had them in the mix yesterday. They won 105-75. to 75. My bad. But nonetheless, hindsight's 2020. Looking forward tonight to this A-10 matchup. Uh, VCU on the road taking on uh, St. Bonnie's. And uh, it's that time of the year in college basketball where you start breaking down the last five games versus season-long stats. Because on day-to-day -day sports or sports where they're playing two to three games a week, usually two games a week now because of the COVID-type season, you start looking at last five games versus the season because teams become cyclical. They get into to ruts. Uh, they get into good cycles, and they get into bad cycles. And right now, St. Bonnie's is in a good cycle. You take a look at the last five game stats. They've held opponents to 57 points per game, and they have numerous scoring options on their team. They spread the ball around nicely. Matter of fact, they've got about four different scoring options that can help them win games. VCU's a young team and got one. And it also should be noted that St. Bonnie's is one of the more veteran teams in the A-10, taking on a youthful team here that's allowing 73 points per game their last five. And they're on the road. I'll take St. Bonnie's, friendly confines of their home floor, laying basically a bucket in this ball game tonight over VCU to get it done for your free pick. Back at you on Thursday. Be sure and tune in.